very, very professional people. They do a fantastic job, as you know. So it seems to me, it seems to be from what I was said, there was uh, a shooting, it was uh, law enforcement uh, shot someone, seems to be the suspect, and the suspect is now on the way to the hospital. I can't tell you the condition of the suspect. There was nobody else injured. There was no other law enforcement injured. And I just want to — I will get on to the press conference, but I, I do want to thank Secret Service. They, they are fantastic. The job they do, uh, from what I understand, the answer is yes. That's what I understand. I don't know. You'll have to ask them. What type of weapon? I don't know that, no. I don't know. You'll have to get — they'll have a — they'll have a detailed — maybe a briefing for you outside later. I don't know. I didn't ask that question. It might not have had anything to do with me. It might have been something else. But uh, it was on the outside of the premises. The wall, the uh, — the, as you know, the fencing, especially the new fencing that they put up, is uh, very powerful. Uh, but it was on the outside of the White House. Okay? And they'll have a full report. Secret Service, in a little while, will have a full report. Are you rattled by this at all, Mr. President? I don't know. Do I seem rattled? It's uh, unfortunate that this is — a uh, world, but the world's always been a dangerous place. It's not something that's unique. Uh, the world has been, you look back over the uh, centuries, the world has been a dangerous place, very dangerous place, and uh, it will continue, I guess, for a period of time. Does this make you think differently about your personal safety inside the White House? No, I feel very safe with uh, Secret Service. They're fantastic people. They're the best of the best. and. Uh, they're highly trained. Uh, I don't know if anybody got to walk outside, but uh, there were a lot of uh, terrific-looking people ready to go if something was necessary. Uh, people at the highest level of law enforcement. There's nobody like these people. So they just wanted me to step aside for a little while just to make sure that everything was cleared outside, because it was right in this area. Why, so. why did you come back, Mr. President? Why did you decide after that? Because obviously it created a lot of commotion. What made you decide to come back and continue the briefing? Well, I didn't even think about not coming back. I said, am I able to go back? And they said, you'd have to wait a little while. I waited a little while, as you know, in the Oval Office area. And uh, I said, can I get back now? And they said, yes. And they have a lot of fortification outside, just in case. But it was one person. Okay.